what is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am your host, Jin Ocean. And today we are checking out Terminator Survivors. So it's been a hot minute, guys. Apologies, sort of, for the lack of content live streaming on the channel. But Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Earth Tree, has literally taken over my life. I'm playing it every spare second I can get. So I've had a little bit of a break from the channel, but we are now back. We're back in the zone. I'm going to be starting a brand new full game playthrough this week, so stay tuned to the channel both on YouTube and Twitch so you don't miss it, and back to the usual content as well. And the first thing we're going to be doing is checking out, hopefully, a bit more information around this game. All I know is that it's kind of centred around the first and the second movies. I don't know what kind of game it's going to be, whether it's going to be very similar to Terminator Resistance. I don't know if it's going to be a shooter, a strategy game, XCOM, like, you know real-time strategy i don't know i know absolutely nothing about it i think this is just going to be cut scenes and just give us a little bit of a flavor of the story but if we can get some gameplay hallelujah so without further ado let's have a little look and see what this one's about we had several reasons we decided to develop a survival game in the terminator universe the first two movies of the Terminator saga are stories about survival, with characters being hunted mm -hmm. down by the Terminator. We really wanted to recreate this feeling of constant chase. Most of the time, you'll run until you're ready to face them. We also felt the Terminator timeline, the post-apocalyptic period, and especially the events after Judgment Day, are a perfect fit in terms of environment to set a survival game. Finally, even if already seen a couple times in the films, this period has only been partially explored. So being able to flesh this period out and showcase the life of survivors during this time, there's no greater honor as fans. The story of the game, like the story of the movies, takes place in the USA. From an artistic and narrative point of view, the world building was extremely curated. Our goal was to be as realistic and coherent as possible in describing a world that carries the signs of the conflict narrated in James Cameron's saga. Every character, every location has something to tell, and this happens on multiple levels, considering the periods but what type the of game war, is it? during the war, and after the war. It says it's a survival game, is it a multiplayer, an extraction type game? The main inspiration game? definitely comes from James Cameron's movies, that we dissected in each and every part in order to fully capture their atmosphere. In particular, from the first movie, we extracted the tense and suspenseful atmosphere, the sensation of being hunted down and facing an absolutely invincible enemy. Then we've done extensive studies on its color palette, its photography and direction. From the second movie, we mostly focused on its dynamic aspects, its action scenes and its pacing, also paying attention to the choice and variety of locations. Clearly, other sources of inspiration come from the magical decade between the 80s and 90s, where the field of sci-fi and action movies offered masterpieces, from which we don't think we're going to see vibe and atmosphere in our game. We're not going to see much gameplay on this at all, are we? There it's will all be about various development. human factions that you'll need to interact with, each of them with their own vision of the world, individual objectives, okay. and also different beliefs about Skynet and what's happening behind the scenes. Combat is realistic and hardcore, which means that calculated and tactical, you can die very easily. So it's like Tarkov? You're the underdog, meaning confrontations and fights need to be dealt with in different ways. You can approach them stealthily or maybe commit to a frontal assault. The decision will depend on how many resources you have, as resources are very scarce. As you struggle to survive in this harsh world, low visibility, a lack of resources, with the threat of radiation, and more, the Terminator is the worst possible enemy to have in a situation like this. When you come across it looking for humans to terminate, your chances of survival are slim. Sooner or later, it will see you. And when this happens, it won't let you go. And your only reasonable option will be to flee. That's going to be intense. We recreated many different environments, and we paid a lot of attention to the characterization of each biome. Something that just survivors will cross mountain. It's going to be pretty crazy. 
beach biome. Survivors will cross mountain lands or desert, small cities. So we literally knew nothing about it. This was all very much a work in progress. Let, let's just talk to you about the development of the game. But we still don't know, other than they keep saying it's a survival game, what that actually means in layman terms. Is it going to be like a Dead by Daylight multiplayer game where you've got to escape a certain map, get to a checkpoint without the Terminator seeing you and collect resources as you go? Is it going to be a semi or fully open world with multiplayer? Is it going to be a single player experience? I imagine this is going to be a multiplayer dumbed down sort of Last of Us type feel. Do you remember when they did like the factions on The Last of Us, the multiplayer? I think it's going to be like that without the team deathmatch, without the, you know, capture the flag. I think the feel of it and the atmosphere is going to be on par with that. I think we're going to see a lot of empty worlds, a lot of empty spaces. Um, but they did hone in on the fact that each character is going to be unique. It's going to be um, relevant to each area. So it feels like there's going to be a bit of a story too. But, you, you know, we've heard this before from developers. I hope these guys are going to give us something substantial. But I think we've heard this so many times before with different developers. And then actually it's come out and it's been two or three lines of dialogue. The characters don't really add anything to the story. The story itself is documents or things that are scattered around the maps or the areas where you've got to read them and, and stuff like that to fill your own lore so i don't know i'm very on the fence we don't know anything about the game so i think it's mad to even consider pre-ordering this because we don't know anything about it we don't know what the scale of it's going to be i think the ambitions there they're talking about the research they've done for the first two movies how that made people feel when they were watching it they've got the right art style they've gone with real dense um, survivalistic areas. They, it looks like they've got the Terminator skin down to a T as well. It is all going to depend on the gameplay. It's all going to depend on what the scope of this is. Is it open world, semi-open world? Is it just maps and you just got to get from A to B as a group of survivors? Or is it a solo story? I don't know. I think this is going to be a multiplayer game. The fact that it's called Terminator Survivors makes me think that you're going to have to pair with other people to complete objectives a bit like dead by daylight or those asymmetric multiplayer games where you've got to work together to get things done i think it's going to be that sort of thing but i'm quite excited for it i'm a big fan of the terminator movies i was a huge fan of terminator resistance i actually played through that on the channel guys a few years back so if you want to go and watch that it's a great game put together by a b studio as well so it's really worth having a little look at that one that was a first person shooter and it was again set within the timeline of the Terminator movies. Won't spoil it if you haven't played it, but it's a great one to check out. Quite often it's on sale. And I think there's a DLC that they brought out for it as well, where it kind of added a bit more story and um, a bit more to the lore of the game. So that's really worth your time if you're interested in the Terminator, sort of uh, the universe generally. It's worth a little poke. Hopefully this isn't rushed. Hopefully it's really thought out in terms of mechanics and gameplay. If this is done right, this will be a really good survival experience. If you have to pair up with people and try and work your way to surviving, basically, against the Terminator, this is going to be absolutely amazing. It's put together by Nacon or Nacon. I think that was the guys that did the Terminator Resistance game. If it is, we're in good hands because I really, really enjoyed that game. And they had it down to the T. I think the writing was there. Gameplay was a little bit clunky. It wasn't as smooth as other first-person shooters you may have played. But it was still worthwhile. And the arc of it was nicely tied into the Terminator story. I really enjoyed it. And I think if this is the same group, which I think it is, I think we're in good hands. But again, this is just a wish list item for now. We haven't got any confirmed date. Unless it pops up at the end, no. So we haven't got a confirmed date for this at all, guys. And I think it's just going to be one that I'm going to be keeping my eyes on on the channel. If you want to see more content around this, please do let me know. And if there's any more news that I find on this game, if I find out any more, I will, of course, share it with you guys. But for now, it looks like it's a while off of being released. When Normally, when you get a wish list for a game, it could be anything between three months to a year. So who knows when this one's coming out. I think it's probably going to come out at the latter end of this year. I'm probably thinking October, November sort of time. As I said, I don't think it'll be a fully priced game. I can see it being about 30 to £35. Pounds. I think it's a multiplayer experience set in the survival genre. 
what that exactly means, I'm not sure, but I just got a feeling that's what it's going to be. I'll be very surprised if it's a single player experience. I would like to see something different, although the first game was great. I don't think this is at all related to it, and I don't think it's a sequel. I think it's its own thing, if you see what I'm saying. So more on this to come, I think. Let's keep an eye on it. Don't pre-order it because you don't know anything about it yet. Just save your money, save the excitement, and hopefully we'll get some more interesting and exciting news on this one as and when we creep closer to release date, whenever that is. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I am, for one, I'm going to be keeping my eyes on this one. As I said, huge fan of the franchise. And this has piqued my interest in terms of how they're going to play this out. What type of game is it? How is it going to play? What's the mechanics? What's the shelf life on it? And what can we look forward to in up upgrades and things like that? How is it going to feel? And how is it going to stand out from all the other games out there like Dead by Daylight? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, all that sort of thing. How are they all going to stand out against this? What's different? What's new? What's unique? What's going to keep fans coming back? If it is an asymmetrical multiplayer experience, if it's a uh, first-person game, or if it's a third-person survival game, I'd imagine it's going to be first-person, um, whether it's multiplayer or single-player. You just get that emphasis of the fear when it's in first-player. You just get a different genre, a different feel, and it's more atmospheric, I think, personally, if it's in first person. So I think that's where we're going with this one. But I could be miles off. Could be absolutely miles off. But thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully we'll get some more on this soon. Until the next video or stream, I'll see you again. Take care. Peace.